The judges marks for Eve Shalom and Matthew Gates for technical merit. Back in Nashville with Eve Shalom and Matthew Gates taking a look at their scores for technical merit 5.6. Up to five, and that's, that's the because range. the difficulty and the variety of their steps was just wonderful. And so was the cleanness and the sureness and the edges. I mean, the, the whole thing was technically a tour de force. Really very strong and powerful. And interestingly enough, she's hearing impaired, mm -hmm. but it doesn't impair her hearing of the music. She feels that right through to her fingertips. Five point appreciate what five she point does seven. on the ice, though, even five more. Knowing that, those five are the marks eight. for presentation. 5.6 up to 5.8. 5 so eight. they're in first place in five terms of those six. that have skated in the free and dance. 5.7. Well, here are the leaders and reigning U.S. champions, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow. They've been married for three and a half years, and that closeness and intimacy has helped their skating tremendously. Our relationship on the ice, uh, I think, is accentuated by our relationship off the ice. Uh, there's a, re a real natural and trueness to our emotions that we express towards one another when we're skating together. Uh, whenever you're, you have such strong feelings for someone, I think uh, they just, they're easier to emote. Those feelings are easier to uh, give to one another, express to one another. Here are Elizabeth Bunzelin and Jared Swallow. They're going after their fourth U.S. national championship. And they have worked with ballroom dancers a great deal to get the effect that they have achieved in this dance. It's a cha-cha rumba rhythm. And the first music, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. particularly like this because there's a wonderful interplay both with the rumba and the shaka. Oh, wow, look at that. Now that is something you see so seldom in ice dancing. I mean, it just proves to you how tricky and difficult these steps are. The slightest miss and you can go over. what the music and what the rhythm of this is, even if you don't hear the music, just by the way their body works. their career it's been one of triumph and comeback their first u.s title came in 1991 it's three years until they won another one in 94 and then a couple of years until they won again in 96 it would be the third u.s dance team to win at least four national championships Remember, one of the main things the judges are looking for is speed. And they keep this up through the entire program.
one thing they've tried to do is separate the fact that they're man and wife. And as they say, we're both looking for romance in this dam. You don't relax with that dance. But that's a, really a technical tour de force. Oh, they're their parents, John and Gay Swallow. That's Jared's parents. They like what they see. They had two perfect sixes in the original dance. First time that's ever been done. We'll see if they get any here in the free dance. They just want to win. We'll have their marks when we come back. The judges' marks for Elizabeth Bunselin and Jared Swallow for technical merit. Five point eight. So we're back Five with Elizabeth Punchlin, Jared Swallow, Five and their coaches, eight. Igor Spielbahn Five and Elizabeth Coates. And there are the marks for technical eight. merit. And there certainly Five wasn't a much of a, of a, a deduction eight. for the fall Five that they took. Remember, it didn't hurt and the flow of the dance. Eight. She was down and then right up and the dance continued. Look at it right here. Now now watch how she sort of leans back and almost as though they're out of, out of position with it. Her balance was off, but she was right up. Look at it here from the back, almost as though, Five from this angle, nine. at least as though Five his foot nine. hit hers. Five point They're trying nine. to overtake Shalom and Gates at the nine. top. Now the presentation Five marks, 5.8, and the rest 5.9s, Five Five nine. those clearly Five good nine. enough to move them and ahead. So for the first time, Liz and Jared are able to defend their U.S. title. Hunselin and Swallow become the first team since Blumberg and Siebert in the early 80s to win four U.S. championships. Shalom and Gapes capture the silver, Robinson and Breen the bronze. And by the way, three of the top six teams involve a partner who is a non-U.S. citizen. Right now, Leslie Visser is with the champions. Leslie? Thanks, Terry. Well, they defended their title elegantly and passionately with one slip-up. Liz, what happened? Well, it looked like I went down on that move a little bit earlier and caught Jared's foot, so it happened so quick. I... Well, he grabbed you wide, right away. Jared, you worked with ballroom teachers this year. How did that help your skating? Well, uh, Lewis, Tracy, Paul, <laughs> and Mark all really brought, our, brought out our expression and our dance rhythm, and that's really what we concentrated on this year, is to bring this program across the audience, just really dance it, and uh, these ballroom coaches were definitely a key. Yeah, those Latin rhythms are so exciting. Liz, can you talk a little? You guys are really in a class by yourself in this country. Has it been difficult to prepare for the worlds without really anyone to push you? Well, it's the first time we've ever been in this situation, and it was a little different and hard. Uh, um, we're not used to being in this situation yet, but um, we look forward to skating well at the World Championships. Well, congratulations. You'll represent us well. Terry? They became a team on the ice in 1989. Fell in love a year later at a competition. Went to the altar in 1993. And Punselin and Swallow hope their next stop is on top of the podium at the 97 World Championships. <laughs> 